What is going on everybody? My name is Nico and welcome back to another Pokemon video. Today we are going to be covering the Legends Arceus gameplay preview that we got yesterday and it's it's pretty cool. I will admit I've already watched it. It looks very Monster Hunter y but I kind of want to watch it again and kind of break down some stuff as we watch it together. So if this is your first time here on the channel make sure you are sub for more videos like this in the future but let's get into the video. I will say the game looks dramatically better than it did when we first saw it. Like Your dramatically better. In the expansive Hisui region. In an age so this is all ago, stuff we already know. We'll be traveling Hisui. Pokemon we'll be working on the Pokedex. All that kind time, of stuff. Hisui will come to be called the Sinnoh region. Mount Coronet rises from the center of the Hisui region, surrounded on all sides by areas with distinct environments. Now that this the shot's kind of interesting because you see like the ore and stuff and that you'll be able to kind of farm and mine as you play through the game, which is kind of interesting. This game is definitely going to be very heavily craft oriented, and I love that about it. I, I really like that this is shaping up to be a Monster Hunter style Pokemon game. It's just, it's really, really cool. Make sure to collect a variety of different raw materials as you explore. These materials, different raw materials, you're going to be crafting stuff including healing items, lures, smoke bombs, a mysterious invention called a Pokeball, yeah, I just, I, more. A lot of people are talking and, and dogging the graphics, but I really kind of like the kind of certain art style that this game has. And this is really cool. This is new stuff. You see that we use the Pokemon to actually, um, we use the Pokemon to gather resources, like you see here, dropping the stuff out of the tree. Here we see the trainer using some of the materials that have collected. And here's the crafting. Again, it's a very craft heavy system, and I, I really like it for that. I'm really looking forward to the different crafting things that we're going to be able to do and see maybe if we can make different styles of Pokeballs and stuff, things of, of that Pokemon nature. Will appear depending on the time of the day and the weather condition. Different species of Pokemon also have different temperaments. They do talk some about different weather conditions approach, and things like of that nature, so it almost has me wondering species, if like we're going to have some skittish, form of away, uh, approaching. Kind of like the wild area weather effects and different Pokemon are going to spawn similar to that effect. I really feel like the wild area was like a test run for this kind of gameplay. So here they talk about when you sneak up on a Pokemon, you have a higher chance to actually catch it. But then if it is alerted to your presence, you're going to have to actually do a battle with it, which is pretty cool. And, and they're just going to like deflect your Pokeballs until you battle it at that point, which I think is nice because that brings in the RPG element, how you're going to be doing the battles and things of that nature. So I, I, I like how they're implementing this and how you like kind of have to play stealthily if you want to catch certain Pokemon because different Pokemon are going to behave differently to your presence. You can use items to your advantage when catching wild Pokemon. For example, throwing a berry. Now you see here we're using berries to kind of distract Pokemon, so that way we can sneak up on them more effectively. And I think this is going to be really cool. I think it's just really cool all the stuff that they're doing with the game. I don't know why the Baneeri's in the water though. I really don't understand why the Baneeri's in the water. <laughs> it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. When encountering aggressive wild Pokemon, you have to be careful. Now it's going to show you get These knocked Pokemon out, not think twice about attacking you. which is, it's different. It doesn't seem like we lose money too much damage this go round, but we lose like, you were carrying when you fainted. we lose, uh, we lose items that we gathered along the way, which is kind of weird, kind of interesting. It doesn't look like a lot of items, so I don't know if it's actually going to be that impactful. As part of the survey core, you are on a mission to catalog and research all the different Pokemon that live in the harsh catalog and research. Pokemon. This reminds me Not almost, it, it's like a combination of like normal Pokemon and Pokemon Snap you will also need to with Monster Hunter. Like this game is like a culmination of so much, like the way you turn you in your findings field, at the end to the professor, professor reminds me of Pokemon Snap versus the actual exploration reminds me of like Breath well of the Wild. And then the, the, the mission board. status, the way you go out and do the different tasks remind me so much of Monster Hunter with your research. The now we find the riding Pokemon, which are so cool. I, I love Weird Air. It's such a cool design. Basket Legion's cool too. Braviary, I could take or leave, but these two, are, like, Weird Air and Basket Legion are nice. I really like the design of those two Pokemon. 
helps you navigate on this is really cool as well this is kind of insane Isurian Braviary, on the other hand, you just quickly like there was no loading there was no animation nothing you just like boom you switch to braviary from weird ear and that's so cool to me Basky legion allows you to traverse the rivers and seas throughout the hisui region with these pokemon by your side you will be able to explore the hisui region to your i just love like the weird art style this game has now they're going to talk about jubilife some more Jubilife Village is the center of operations for the Galaxy Expedition Team, a group made up of people who have come from different regions to study and live in the harsh region of Kisai. All this stuff is so weird. The like, Galaxy this is very clearly like your core, your hub area in Monster Hunter, which core, well leads me core, to want a multiplayer version of a Legends game in the future. Jubilife like, Monster Hunter is so fun with friends. Like, this game could be missions. very After interesting with playing as a group. And preparing for your next excursion, You'll set out from the village to see this exactly is monster hunter you you get a quest you go out on your next your area of exploration you go to the different regions that have different tasks. biomes and different Along monsters or pokemon in this instance so there there's really a, a lot of monster hunter inspiration from this game there's crafters there's vendors at these locations there's going to be small quests that you can get from people with other i've got an ad coming you can receive a but yeah, you can get all these missions little missions, and this reminds me a lot of like the request system in Monster Hunter, where it's like, oh, gather this many of these items while you're out hunting, gather this, that, or the other. So this, and this map reminds me a lot of like Breath of the Wild, the way you set the waypoints down and the different markers that you have. Like, this game is so heavily inspired by so many other very fun and popular games that I really love. So I'm super excited for what this game is actually going to have in store. Missions and requests. Because it's so cool, like being able to go out and do all these Some little side missions while you're doing your main story. It's it's really really Pokemon, interesting. Finding a variety of different items, defeating powerful Pokemon in battle, or catching a number of one specific Pokemon for research. Please enjoy this clip of a trainer completing a request. Now we're gonna see what is presumably uh, a, a ancient dawn. <laughs> go and catch a shanks for this guy for a request and they, it's just really cool it's really interesting that we're going to have these kind of like side things that aren't necessarily part of the main story or anything like that but they're going to be very very just like important in terms of like gathering resources and getting additional materials and things of that nature like this stuff is going to be fun just as like a bonus thing and clearly you're seeing your level and your pokemon up as you're doing it so it's pretty cool nonetheless Show them the shanks, and then you're going to get your rewards. What a relief it is. Bone stuck in my throat, only the throat's my brain, blah, blah, blah. Boom, complete. You got potions for that. So that's, I mean... Doing that, you got three potions versus having to craft three potions. That's pretty, you can pretty useful a stuff. Pokemon battle by throwing one of your partner's Pokeballs at or near They're going to talk some Pokemon. more about battling here, which the battling system looks pretty cool. There definitely looks like there's an element of strategy involved with the strong and agile styles. Extra chance to attack and battle. Let's see where it talks about it here. I know it's coming up. Battles are turn-based. And you can get your Pokemon to attack in two unique styles. There we Strong go. Style. There you go. Strong style here. You're going to do big damage, but you're going to miss the next turn. And you're going to get hit by a couple different attacks or from the opposing style. Pokemon. And then Agile style, you get to go faster. So you use your attack style. and then you get to attack again. It's kind of interesting. They use additional PP. And PP is almost like, like a, an energy Strong or a mana source in this style of RPG. And I find it really interesting. Because it reminds me of other battle systems uh, in other uh, RPG style games. So it, it's kind of interesting that they finally added something like this. I'm glad it's not in the base Pokemon games, but for a spinoff like this, it's nice change of pace. Causes your Pokemon's attacks to use more PP. So be careful when planning your battles. A good strategy is the key to victory. While surveying the wild, you may come across the biggest freaking wall range different to the others of the same species. These are known as alpha Pokemon, 
and are much so these are the alpha Pokemon. We've seen a lot of these in recent trailers where like they have the glowing red eyes and they're attacking you constantly. And they're very strong, very powerful, but you can catch them and they make great additions to your team. So I'm wondering if they're like higher IV Pokemon or have uh, like a hidden ability or something of that nature. Like if there's some serious like defining reason that they're so powerful, if it's just like kind of like prompting you to go and attack them and train with them or use them in your party. Catching an alpha Pokemon is a challenge, but if you manage it, they will be a very powerful ally in your adventure. Now this part's pretty nice. This part is really cool. Glad it's back because I don't think they did enough with it in BDSP and I understand the restrictions being that they went back to like a chibi art style and like it, it would have been weird to try and implement it in BDSP. However, sure going back styles, to the individual team. outfit styles and being able to pick and choose what exactly you want to wear, like we could in Sword and Shield, X and Y, and Sun and Moon, very good choice. I'm very happy that this is coming back because it just means that you can really make your character you your own. You can also customize your trainer's hairstyle, hair color, and eyebrow color at the hairdresser. The Hisui region can be dangerous, but that doesn't mean you can't look your best. Now we're going to talk about the noble Pokemon some more. And these almost strike me as like what are going to be our gym battles. Like I really think that these are going to be like our our gym battle kind of progression system. As part of the survey corps, you will be recruited to calm these frenzied nobles. Simply quell their frenzy by throwing bombs made using these noble And they keep Pokemon showing us that we're gonna have to like throw these like bags at them. And I don't really like it's like their face. This looks like a lot. Like if you look at how much you're doing with each throw, like it just seems like it's going to be kind of a tedious task. I'm not too sure about this. I'm really not sure about this kind of like, oh I gotta chuck a thousand bags of this Pokemon's favorite food at it to calm it down. I'm I'm not with it. Like look how long, look how many they had to throw. Like that's not a fun boss mechanic. Like that's my thought thus far. Now I could be wrong. Once we get further in, maybe each of them have a different kind of style. But like this is the time. I don't know. It, it just didn't look fun. These now we're tough. weakening it. We're Finally going into battle with it. So wish to calm the noble Pokemon down. I don't know. It, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting once we actually have it in our hands. But like I'm just not thrilled about the let's throw a thousand little baggies at it before we can actually do anything. Why did Stealth Rock do damage? That was Stealth Rock, right? Why, why did Stealth Rock do damage? We huh. hope you enjoyed the sneak peek of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Countless adventures. There you go again. You got to battle and throw a million more at this thing. Like it, I don't know. It doesn't look all that entertaining to just chuck a thousand bags at it. Exclusively on Nintendo Switch. Coming to Nintendo Switch. It's coming. We're literally two weeks out from this bad boy. We're two weeks out from this game, and it's very exciting. So that wraps it up. This trailer has me much more excited for this game. There's just a couple things that I'm not super like over the moon about in regards to this current game but i i mean i we don't have it yet so i can't pass judgment or anything like that but i'm excited it looks very monster hunter -y. i'm a big fan of monster hunter so this game just looks very exciting to me let me know your thoughts are you gonna pick this one up are you gonna let this one go just because it's not the traditional pokemon styles it's not really your jam let me know all your thoughts in the comments below but that's gonna be it for this video guys and i hope you found it entertaining if you did leave a like smash the subscribe button for more pokemon legends rcs and bdsp content coming oh so very soon so hope to see y'all in the next one